Two days ago, a scammer tried to scam me, which is a great opportunity to investigate how this scam works. Welcome to the Distributed Systems and Blockchain Lecture. My name is Thomas Bocek. So yesterday in the lecture, we went down the rabbit hole and investigated how a scammer could profit from this scam. Let's start from the beginning. On this very YouTube channel, I received the following comment here. Great video. Please, how do I withdraw L my 3000 USDT from OKX wallet to Binance? And he posted the 12 word phrase. And my first reaction was, why the hell is he disclosing his seed phrase? that you shouldn't do that. I always tell my students that this is the most important secret and you should make sure to keep this secure at all times. If you lose or if this seed phrase becomes public or your cryptocurrency stored by this seed phrase will be lost. So how could this be a rookie mistake? Well, probably not because I received a couple of days before a very similar message with a different seed phrase. So my next reaction was, okay, it's probably a scam without knowing the details. Since I had to prepare for the lecture, I did not have time to investigate. And um, I told my students about the scam in the lecture. And then in the lecture, we started to investigate, okay, how does this work? We quickly found in the internet that the scammer is scamming for fees. But okay, how does it work? And then we went into details. Before we start, word of caution, before doing these kind of investigations, make sure you know what you're doing. So the first thing is to figure out what addresses I can get out of the seed phrase. I will talk about seed phrases, how these work in one of my upcoming lectures, but for now, let's just use MetaMask and import these seed phrases. But be aware, MetaMask does not support multiple seed phrases, so your current seed phrase will be overwritten. Thus, let's create a new profile in Firefox, and then I can install MetaMask and import those seed phrases. So let's do that right away. I'm going here in about profiles and I create a new profile. I set the name test scam. Now I have a new profile. It's the default profile. Okay, now we have created a new profile. Skip, 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 everything okay. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Skip, skip, skip. Start browsing. And I'll make sure I have here in the settings, in the themes, I'll just create a new theme just to be sure that I'm using here a new profile. So now let's install MetaMask and import those key phrases, uh, MetaMask, download, continue, add, okay, here we have it, we pin it to the bar, okay, all good, here we have MetaMask, and we import an existing wallet, I agree, now I copy those phrases, the seed phrase here, the 12 words. Confirm. Now I need a password. I understand. Okay. I don't want to save it. Got it. Next. Done. So now we have our account. No, thanks. And we see our address here. We see a bit of ethers. Probably getting those ethers out will cost more in transaction fees than actually is on the account. And also if I go to etherscan and search for the addresses, we will find then 
all the relevant addresses here. They have some ethers, not that much. Something is also on Avalanche. And here we see Megaland with $24,000. And you think, wow, jackpot, I just got $24,000. Awesome. But that's not the case. That's the intention that the scammer tries that you think that. But you actually, you, there's no chance to withdraw it. I will show you why. So if you click on it, there's this cryptocurrency Megaland. You can also go to CoinMarketCap, see where it's traded. Cap.com. And here we go to Megaland. And we see a uh, trading volume in one day, 13,000 US dollars, a total market cap of 200,000 US dollars. So there is a bit money behind it. We can also go to this exchange and see what's going on. I guess that this is a market maker from the scammer itself to show some activity, to make it a bit more attractive. But I doubt that those are real users. Okay, now we have this wallet here. We have access to 24,000, potentially almost 25,000 US dollars. Can we withdraw it? Well, it's on the Binance Smart Chain. So we can go here to MetaMask. This is our wallet. And let's say I want to change the network. I want to go to the Binance Smart Chain because there are the tokens. Let's do that. Switch to BNB Chain. Got it. And we see zero BNB tokens, also not tokens. That means we need the address of this token here. I copy the token address here and import the token, custom token. It says, okay, uh, there's a high risk. I know what I'm doing. Let's just see here. I import it. This also looks, of course, great. 24,000. Nice. So the next step would be, since we have 24,000, let's transfer it. I could transfer those mega tokens, these mega galaxy land tokens to Mexi and, and try to trade it. So let's do that. Let's go to send. Now I'll just pick any any address, doesn't actually matter. I'll pick just uh, here the, this address again. Here we already see insufficient funds. I could also go to Megaland tokens here and we see I would need to add money, add BNBs to this account in order to make the transfer. And that's actually what the scammer is looking for, that as soon as somebody transfers BNB to make the transfer, he has a bot running looking for these incoming transactions and grabbing these incoming BNBs. And then again, the balance is at zero. And we can actually take a look at this contract here. You can see the contract here. So the source code has been submitted. It matches with the byte code that's inside this contract. And when we take a look at it, it looks non-suspicious. We have here an ERC20 with the transfer, underscore transfer. This is probably taken from Open Zeppelin or other default contracts. I didn't take a deep look at it, but from the surface, it looks just fine. It's a default contract. It has a different name, that's okay, but other than that, it looks standard. And we can actually talk, take a look at the address, how many people actually tried to do that. So let's go to this address here. That's our address. We uh, copy this, go to the BNB chain, and here we see what's going on. Somebody is sending BNBs, and BNBs one block after they're being sent out. Somebody sending BNBs, send out. Sending BNBs, send out. So the scammer is getting those fees or the people who try to send in a small amount to cover the fees, he's scamming them for these fees. 
and we can also take of course a look how much it is so let's download here a report let's go to the start date we start sometime here we download we can open in our spreadsheet and we see it started a couple of days ago four days ago and we can see how much the scammer could already get that is 0 0.01 bnbs let's take a look how much that is 0 0.01 bnb to usd here let's convert it that's around five us dollars it's actually not that much and keep in mind that the scammer has to make sure that this looks like a coin that is being traded so although he's trading with himself he needs some capital to make this work it's not that he's giving the the capital away he could pull out the capital at any time he has to pay fees i'm not sure if it's worth it if he gets out of that more than five dollars and we were also discussing in the lecture what happens if you build a faster bot so he has a bot the scammer has a bot looks at the transaction incoming bnbs i get the thing out what happens if you immediately if you send a transaction immediately you pay or you try to get out these tokens maybe with a higher fee and try to transfer these tokens these mega tokens to maxi well since he is controlling maxi and and the trades there he, as soon as he sees that he can stop the trades at maxi and i would have the tokens and there would be nobody to trade with so i believe there's no chance that you can get any money out of this maybe this will be a long-running scam which means that in the long run scammer can get some money but it's not like FTX, Sam bankman fritz who scammed millions, billions and your life savings. Here the scammer gets your fee money, $1.50, so it's not billions, it's cents. And what happens if you lose money in this scam? Probably if it's 50 cents, it doesn't bother you that much. Probably you just forget about it. It's not like that you lost your life savings, but still it's not right. And as I mentioned, there is no free money. If you see a seed phrase, most likely it's scam.